chapter one, page three, right at the top. But what is so surprising is that its outcomes are almost entirely unexamined, uh, referring to charitable giving, mission work, that kind of thing. The food we ship to Haiti, the well we dig in Sudan, the clothes we distribute to inner city Detroit, all seem like such worthy efforts. Yet those cl closest to the ground on the receiving end of this outpouring of generosity quietly admit that it may be hurting more than helping. How? Dependency, destroying personal initiative. When we do for those in need what they have the capacity to do for themselves, we disempower them. So, man, that's a, ooh. That's deep. That is that's quite. heavy, deep, and real. Yes, exactly. Yes, it is. Exactly. Yes, it so, is. based on this, what, what would you say, what, what's, take it from Love, Inc.'s perspective, uh, what do we want to see as a ministry? What's the end result? What can we look at and say, here's, we're doing this well. What, what does that even look like uh, as, as an end result for Love, Inc., for what we do? What does it look like as an end result would be having, um, I'll say volunteers, but I'm going to take it even broader than that, just members of the church community, members of the community, understanding that true uh, help for those who, are, who have need takes time. It, it's an investment. Um, the other part that's it's sort of hard to hear sometimes is that it's not about us. It's about the individuals whom we're helping. Um, when I first look at this book, Toxic Charity, I get bristled. And I get bristled um, because it's, all, it's, it's somewhat telling the, the reader your charity that you've been doing for all these years is toxic. Uh, and so how do you receive that? And I really think that what um, Robert Lupton is, is, is asking and encouraging here is, or what he's offering better, is some constructive criticism uh, to human beings who have a desire to serve. And I'll say Christians who have a desire to serve. Uh, the human nature part of being Christians is number one, we want to help. And number two, we want instant gratification. And so therefore, offering ch charity is very easy to do so uh, because you get both. You, you can do it quickly and you can serve yourself at the same time. Uh, to do it with a, uh, a more relational heart, uh, it takes time and we have to understand that. So what am I looking for as a, a leader in the ministry is for people who understand that the work that they do is critically important. It's slow, it's painstaking, it's not about us, it's about the individual whom we're serving. And so when we see others in our community who currently have need, feeling better about themselves, feeling empowered, feeling confident that they have the capacity to do for themselves, then we're doing what we are intending to do in the first place. Which ties into our core principles. It is exactly our core principles. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would offer, Nolan, to me the foundational one is the very first one. The value. The value. Mm -hmm. uh, it starts there. Um, because we have to know in our heart that we value other people more than we value ourselves. Um, to me, that, that's, that sounds cliche-ish, sure. uh, but it is, it's fundamental to this concept that Lupton's trying to teach us uh, into what we believe is um, we, redemptive compassion. Sure. Because when you value someone else, then you understand your desire for immediate response, your desire for an immediate change isn't going to happen. Right. Because forcing that immediate change isn't 
the best thing for that person. Correct. Because we're not in charge. We're fixers. Mm -hmm. We want to fix things. Well, great. Mm -hmm. But you're not in charge. The person who is receiving the help is the person who's in charge. And we don't like that. Uh, That's not comfortable because I know what's best for you. Well, do you? You may have some wisdom to share, but until that person, until you look at that person and say, this is where you are, this is who I am, this is what I have to offer, I will walk with you through this process, Uh, I'll share with you, I'll tell you no, I'll hold you accountable. In other words, I'm going to love you. Mm 